Hi guys, find out how this priest manages to defeat an army of vampires to save a young girl. Welcome to Worth Recap, this time I show you the summary of the movie Priest. The story begins with a group of people entering a cave where they are attacked by vampires and most of the group is killed. Then he tells us the history of this universe, a world where vampires and humans have always existed, as well as their fight, so the world was devastated to the point that no living being could inhabit it. However, the church, created walled cities where life could prosper and there was created an elite organization of warriors trained in all forms of close combat called priests, they were the only ones capable of killing vampires and thanks to their hard work most of the vampires were killed while the survivors were isolated in reservations away from human contact. No longer requiring the services of the priests, and fearing the power they had created in them, the church disbanded them from the organization and reintegrated them into society. We head to a settlement where a family made up of Owen the father, Shannon the mother and Lucy their daughter, live outside the walled cities, trying to farm the land that is beginning to recover from the war, one day as the family gathers for dinner. Vampires attack the settlement, so the parents order Lucy to hide in a small room and not come out no matter what she hears. The girl obeys and hides while her parents try to defend themselves from the vampires, however being outnumbered they cannot stop them, so the vampires manage to find Lucy and take her away. We go to Cathedral City where the only survivor of the group from the beginning tries to find relief, for what happened in the expedition through a confession. However this act does not help him at all so he returns home where he is approached by Hicks, the sheriff of a nearby town. Hicks tells him that his brother Owen was mortally wounded, his sister-in-law Shannon was killed by vampires, and his niece Lucy was kidnapped. Hicks asks the priest for help in following Lucy and bringing her back, however, he doesn't respond, so Hicks leaves. Later the priest meets with high-ranking members of the church to inform them that the vampires attack the outskirts, however they do not accept the existence of vampires outside the reservations, for this reason they order the priest to remain in the city, since their exit could cause panic in the city, giving the idea that the vampires have returned, however, the priest tries to go against the wishes of the leader of the church, so they send an armed group to stop him and he kills them with ease. He then leaves town on a motorcycle and arrives at his brother's house and meets Hicks, who takes him to the nearby town where he meets Owens, who asks him to rescue Lucy. On the other hand, Lucy is inside a train and a person named Black tries to talk to her, however, Lucy only tells her that her uncle will come to save her and finish him off. Hicks talks to the priest and offers to go with him to rescue Lucy, however the priest refuses, doubting his abilities, so he shows Hicks his perfect aim and the priest agrees to take him away. In Cathedral City, the church high command finds out about the priest's actions from him, so they call in four priests to capture him and bring him back, dead or alive, under the pretense that he broke his vows. After saying a final goodbye to his brother and sister-in-law, the priest and Hicks set off for a vampire reservation, where they meet human relatives who agreed to serve the vampires, who didn't want to let the priest pass. However, Hicks convinces them and they go down to an underground prison where they interrogate a relative about what happened to his brother. But before obtaining information they are attacked by other relatives and Hicks is forced to flee until he is cornered. At that moment the priest arrives and finishes them off. However he leaves one alive to find out the location of his niece. He begins the interrogation and seeing that he does not want to cooperate he begins to torture him, but before he can get any information the night comes and the original vampires come out of hiding from him. The priest prepares to fight and attacks them with shurikens, which cuts them easily, 
then fights melee and ends up killing all the vampires with ease. The mestizo vampire, seeing how he killed the vampires, reveals that the vampires are in Mira Sola, a vampire colony, where they should no longer exist but are still alive, so they are going to investigate. There, the priest meets a priestess, who tells him that the church wants him back, however, she does not believe that he has broken his vows, so she decides to help him, and in the hive he discovers a guardian, they both run into each other, to kill it. The group discovers a new section in the hive in which a new army of vampires was born. In a town near the hive, a train full of vampires arrives and they start a massacre in the city. The other priests arrive at the place and confront Black Hat, he asks the three priests to become vampires, but they turn into vampires. They deny that's why they kill them and leaves their bodies hanging on crosses. The group realizes that the vampires are traveling on a train and their final destination is the walled city. Therefore, in order to stop the train, the priestess will plant a bomb on the train tracks. While the priest and Hicks board the train to save Lucy, however, the priest meets Black Hat and reveals that he is one. Of the members who were believed dead during the expedition, and who managed to survive thanks to the vampire queen giving him her blood and turning him into a pure vampire, acquiring abilities beyond human capacity. Black Hat asks the priest to join him, however the priest refuses and Black Hat throws him off the train, however he manages to hold on to the bottom of the train. Meanwhile, Priestess confronts the familiars who try to stop the explosives, Priestess kills them, But one manages to destroy the activator so he puts a bomb on his motorcycle and heads towards the train. On the other hand, the priest sneaks into the train and with Hicks they find Lucy along with Black Hat, together they try to attack him, but Black Hat easily overpowers them and Lucy tries to help her and when they see her abilities they praise her saying that they are worthy of her. Her father reveals that the priest is her real father. Black Hat then climbs to the top of the train and attempts to turn Lucy into a vampire, however the priest stops him by throwing a knife at him, causing Lucy to be thrown off the train, but before she falls the priest jumps to save her and hold him Black Hat tries to throw them away, but before he can, Priestess crashes her bike into the train, jumping at the last minute, causing the train to explode and incinerate Black Hat. while Lucy, Hicks, the priest and the priestess survive. The priest returns to town and confronts the higher-ups of the church, telling them about the burnt-out train containing hundreds of vampires, he proves this by throwing a vampire head on the ground. The church refuses to accept the truth stating that the war is over, but the priest tells them that it is only beginning as he leaves the room, once he leaves the city he meets the priestess, she reveals that the other priests have been notified and meet in a city. The priest leaves with priestess to meet the other priests. Thanks for watching the video, subscribe to see more videos like this, if you wanted to see more, I recommend this movie of a haunted camp.